And welcome back to C Blip. So I have playing around with some system, but when honest, I think I'll want to play on camera all the game because the game is pretty short. So what did we do last time? Last time, well, we fired all of our crew and we got actually pretty competent sailors. So we have a crew of three. That means we can hire three of them. So we have Ernest, as you can see, he's very intelligent and lucky. So we have Mark, who's intelligent but less lucky, but has one more health and this guy over here has reload speed uh, did i remember to put robert on the cannons let's see where robert is i guess we can only see this in battle yeah, because you can also level them up and then it will matter a lot more where they are hmm. so that means my main character has to stay off the guns since it doesn't have reload speed either way okay that settles it we also have a lot of quests to do, but most of them are bounty quests, which I'm a little bit afraid. I need to find more clues about Bubble Boy. Eh, let's just explore, because we need to remove the entire fog of war, and that's probably going to be my main objective. Sadly, this thing cannot be removed from over there. <laughs> I think the game will have a very interesting faction system with the blue versus the reds. That's a big pirate ship, I guess. I'm also curious if we can kind of navigate. That looks like it's a skull island with a lot of rewards for us. What is this thing over here? Uh, it's just a thing on the water. A whirlpool washing in. That's a medium. Wait, what? Somebody needs my help. Stop hitting that. I was looking at the guy. Okay, let's, let's actually rescue someone. We have been mostly hunting people. So, oh, he, he can get some shells for free, but as you can see, he has only repair speed. I'm also curious if we can repair the ship while on the water. That's one of the things they don't really explain to you. Tailor placement. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit annoying. So, my logic is Robert will be manning the guns. This is a bit too loud, isn't it? Okay. So, Robert will be manning the guns just because he has the reload speed. My main character will be probably at the helm to drive the ship or sail the ship. But no, he will be here because he has more HP and he can actually take a lot of hits, and that will be a little better for him. And that guy over there, uh, how do you tell which is which? I guess he has luck and intelligence. Yeah, so Ernest is kind of like the weakest character because he has the lowest amount of HP. So I'll put him over there where he might be a little safer. Okay, that's good, I guess. Can we repair our ship in Barrel Bay? Save and sleep. I guess you can only repair in your base, but you can save and sleep in other locations as well. Other locations as well. Also, I never really found where Grandpa's <laughs> funeral spot was. So that's, that's not going to be a problem, I hope. Yeah, I don't see a way to go around this. Maybe over there. I think we also will get a lot more ship upgrades. Also, I don't know what this thing is over here with the two food. To pots. Hey, they need to have a lot of pop-up menus. Seems like those pirates found a way to get in there. <laughs> you know what? Let's just watch the pirates and see what how they get in there. I guess they're not going to show me. So
I don't think it matters if we pass the day too much because we will have to give some money to our crew, but it's not a problem. <laughs> this it's like worthless in a way. You'll be spending most of your money on the wages. Bye bye blockade. Fire and toxic AI. Oh, so that's how they do it. Maybe I just need a bigger ship. Be able to go through the rocks. Okay, that checks out. Let's go for the barrel. This should be an interesting fight. What? That's all there is to the barrels? Oh. What? How do they attack? I guess they don't attack. I guess we just have to find. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I. I see. How do you. How do you deal with those poisonous things? It will hurt a lot. What do I do now? I don't know. I'm a bit scared. I hope he repairs the cannon. Change places. Okay, our main character has a lot more HP. Oh no, this will be a defeat again. Come on, do the thing. We only managed to get two shots off. Hmm. Maybe I should destroy the helm, but she's not really getting a lot of sail strength. Oh, he was putting out the fire, okay. Let's escape the battle. I don't think we can defeat that character. We need two cannons for sure, okay. That was an achievement. Escape the battle. This is tricky. I guess we can also farm a little more. Let's see what happens if we go for an easy pirate fight. So I wonder how much time does this guy need to simply put down a barrel? Oh yeah, I forgot we don't actually heal between battles. Come on, how do you... Yeah, aim for the cannon. I guess I was trying to destroy that guy, but apparently two shots are not going to do enough damage to him. Oh, that was enough, okay. Bye bye. I played <laughs> Looks like they know how to swim. I think you just have to hit sail after you win. Oh, but they didn't level up. Salvage debris, ship upgrades, items and gold. I think I have ship upgrades. That's just another normal item, okay. Kind of disappointed, but okay. I guess we have to go back on that island and do a lot more quests over there. Alfred. Yeah, we'll go back to the main ship, uh, to the main island over here, the Sea Blip Island. I guess you can also just, you know, hang around this place and destroy ships until I get a, a few cannons or something. <laughs> I 
We're also low on money now because we spent so much money. Oh, that's a very interesting ship design. Oh, that's the moving icon. What? Constitutes a cannon. Okay, that's a cannon. I guess we can just enjoy the show for now. <laughs> their, their skull is a lot more threatening than my long dog. Wow, so I guess the small parachute only has 5 HP compared to 16. Okay, I guess that's why we are winning so easily. One more shot and we have one. And we're also destroying their cannon. Good luck, guys. You will need it. Uh, what? What? It says escape. I guess you have to fight the boarding pirate. I don't know. Come on, fight me! Fight my captain! Okay, <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, oh, okay, we are choosing new skills for this guy over here, Coin Collector, or Ice Miner. Oh, you throw bombs against the... oh, so that's how you do it, okay. No, this is Robert. Yeah, they really need to put up their name and their other skills, because you'll never remember what they had before. Water bucket, I guess you can put out fire instead of just stepping on the fire. Uh, that's not going to be good for him, Banana Master. Barrels, barrels, or squids. Uh, this guy is the one on the helm, Lucky Sea Dog. That seems like it's a very good idea, but I want. I need to stop the barrels. It will be Banana Expert. I guess you have to do that, a nice miner. I have a very bad feeling about this. Throws bombs. Uh, that sounds important, so let's do it like that. I like the way it looks, but it's much smaller than mine. Salvage debris. Items and gold. I guess items and gold will just have to be the one we always choose from now on. I don't think we'll get any good parts from these ones. So we can level them up. So this guy has reload speed, so let's give him more reload speed. My banana expert. Uh, throw stuff at that stuff. Let's give him more health so he has as much health as me. <laughs> and what do I do with this guy? He's just lucky and intelligent. I don't think I need close combat, close quarter combat. I guess I can make him my repair guy. No, you know what? Let's give him more health. Okay, I just want to go over here repair and I also want to see what else I can do with my crew and my ship because I am pretty sure I can make another cannon now. Yeah. But how much iron ore did I use to make the iron bar? That's my main concern. How much does it cost? It doesn't really say, does it? <sighs> okay. You have to be super, super... Uh, uh. Well, let's just say that we have to be super, super organized in order to win or progress in a game like this. Make a treasure chest. No, I guess we had that blueprint already, maybe. That's just a diamond. It's not nine diamonds, so we have to sell all of those. Keep the emeralds, because they're super important. I guess we can put the bomb over there. Let's make that guy happy. You want the coconut? <laughs> I gave him a cock. <laughs> I guess he doesn't like the fiber from the coconut. 
Okay, how did I do this the last time? So, pick it up, press E, right? But it puts down all of the iron ore and it only crafts... I don't know, this is sketchy to me. I think I'm just wasting a lot of stuff. Another cannon. Yeah, I don't like the barrel stuff. As you can see, I don't think we even managed to throw down one um, one barrel at the enemy. I have a feeling the rubies will be useful for something else, so I'll just sell the gems. I have a feeling the diamonds will be useful for something as well. Harpoon. So this is 1 to 2 damage to the ship and 1 damage to the crew. Upgrade damage is greater, all time is 4 seconds. So this will be possibly more damage. I guess it hits an area, it has an AOE. Granada cannon. I guess this is just a grape shot cannon. Which does damage to the crew. But it, hit fi it hits 5 times what? A lemoner cannon? Why is it a lemoner? Uh, why is it a lemoner? I guess it fires faster and faster and that's going to be useful. A break cannon. It cannot be upgraded very easily. I don't know how to upgrade stuff yet. This, this is just a basic cannon for the pirates from what I can see. The flab. But it still costs 5 iron bars so make sure you don't pick it by accident. This can stun the crew. It does a lot of crew damage. Flabber gas cannon. Now from what I can see the crew is most of the... Will uh, be the biggest problem because I can just sink the ship. Hmm. I guess the Lemnar will be the other option. What is my other option? This one, but 6 seconds and stun. It's a deal. Crush the upgrade. Okay, that works. So as you can see, we have two big slots over there, or two medium slots, and a small slot over there. Monkey guard. I guess we can make the monkey guard a, what is a demonic altar. We can also revive our dead crew members. Thunder guard. I I was fighting some pirates up in the north, and guess what? They destroyed me with a single lightning bolt. So I guess we know what the lightning bolt is for. Fire barrel monkey. So this is an automatic one, like that. Why does it have a star? I guess it's the rare one. Yeah, great game, great upgrades, but very hard to get into it. Not much more to build over there. Let's see where the crew will go. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to switch since I want to stun the crew first of all, and then we can just, you know, do the rest very easy. I guess this is the combat episode per se. Do I need a bottle? Eh, probably not, but just in case I find a very good sailor. I guess this has a big slot, but other than that, they don't impress me much. But this one comes with a cannon already. I need the frozen llama statue and I think it's in the north. Some of the ships will come with interesting things, so that, as you can see, this has four slots, my ship has three slots in total. Oh, I guess we have to learn a lot of other mechanics as well. Also, how do you upgrade stuff? This is the upgrade inventory. I don't know. I guess there are a lot of things we'll just have to learn. Yeah, let's see how the... Oh, that's a bit scary. The undead. Does this cannon actually do anything against the undead? Oh, they have a shield. And the second cannon, okay. Oh, the shield regenerates. Oh, that's a bit annoying.
What do you mean protected? Okay then, that are no joke. We stun some of them, I guess that's a start. Doesn't have a lot of health. Okay. Our damage upgrade, so we can repair a cannon if it gets damage. Okay. Now we're learning more about the combat. This is the combat episode. I guess the shield is completely out. Oh, but it comes back again. Well, that's annoying. My plan is to destroy their cannon and stun the crew, but doesn't seem like it's working too well. Oh, I guess we destroyed the ship. <laughs> I guess skeletons float. Upgrades. Yeah, like I said, items and gold will probably be the thing we should choose all the time. Oh, we have... Yes, one more health point. Work speed is okay. I guess I want more intelligence. Because we're the captain, we have to be intelligent. Otherwise, this, these guys will provoke a mutiny. Okay, you know what? I was thinking of going to the main uh, village, or not the main village, the main island, but I want to try again at the barrel. The barrel girl. Since our crew has more HP, we have a second cannon, and it's only one crew for that ship, so it should be easy to stun. You can easy. Well, submarine. I think we can find it, probably. Where is that submarine? Well, I guess it should be around here somewhere. I'm a bit worried about the pirate ship circling me. That's Battle Bay. Where is the people I want to fight? I guess when you want to fight someone specific, they just disappear from the map. When you don't want to fight them, they are all over the place. I think we tried out what happens if you step into the bomb. Yeah, I think the bombs will damage us, so they're not a collectible bomb. Come on, game. Ah. We also have another option over here. Save sleep and maybe it will appear. Day 22, year 1. Yeah, that worked. Barrel Bay, okay. I guess we have to hit this area all the time. So this is a type of, a, let's say, vessel that has a lot of HP and that will destroy you over time just by sheer amount of firepower. Okay, it's stunned. It has a lot of health. Okay, I understand the game a little better now. So we destroy... We destroy her thing and then we... Yeah, oh no, she still got it up. Okay, let's see if we... If they throw... Who is supposed to throw stuff at stuff? The banana guard. Does it do it automatically? He does it automatically. Oh, but he might have a limited number of bananas. Yeah, he does have a limited number of bananas. Okay. Well, okay, so many things are happening during the fights. It's hard to keep track of all of them. I guess we can... Oh, no. We cannot hit our ship while she's sunken. Okay, I didn't realize that was a thing. Don't get upset. How, how does the banana throwing mechanic work? I guess he sometimes throws them, sometimes... He, oh, what? 14 HP? That's so... mean. Okay, hit the sell button. So, this is the second bounty target. And there are seven in total in the early access version. Okay, Barrel Bay. Medium healing room. I think I want to do that. Do I want to edit auto wood? 
auto wood pump. Oh. So it has a vis okay, I guess it's more or less the same, but it only has one slot and only one crew, so I guess you have to scrap the ship. With the old ship. 10,000 gold, Battle Bay. Equal. So, was that a bounty quest or does it do anything? So, to do that, I need to find. <laughs> I need to find the dog, Bubble Boy. Did we find any clues? I don't know. Let's just go over there for a moment. I also want to go to the merchant. He might have some iron ore. I don't know. I think he just has a crew or something. Balder Bruce. Eh. So what did I take? I went to the main port of the reds. Or the blue. Yeah. Okay, having better crew is such a big difference. Okay, now they give me another cannon. How many blueprints are there? I guess they're just giving me cannon after cannon. Wait, what is that bar over there? It's something and then it's health. Oh, I guess I just have to find the dog. Ah, almost. I guess it's 1000 gold or something. And an epic blueprint. Well, it looks like the blueprints are very, very easy to get. That looks like a demon. Wait, what? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, is that a person? Can I take the barrel away? Oh, wait, is this the character I'm supposed to find? That's a kind of mean thing. Okay. So it's not, it was not someone I could interact with or do anything. Yeah, let's check out the merchant ship and maybe we'll fight that other guy as well. Oh, we can buy a cannon. So you can use your money to directly buy stuff. Puffball cannon, what? How does this work? You can improve your ship at the merchant. This does a lot of damage. I'm really not sure. They have to explain a lot more things to me. I don't think this will do as much damage as it says over there. Let's try to fight these guys, the Parrot Lord. That's a lot of parrots. Monkey guard, okay. I guess that's Pete over there, but how does he attack me? I have no idea, but I guess we'll find out. So stun the crew and you take out the shield. I think the pirates will attack me at some point, so let's take out the shield as fast as possible. Yeah, we really need it. Okay, that's scary. That's a lot of pirates. Uh, that will hurt a lot. Okay, we stun him and now we just have to make sure we hit him. 
come on, don't be so upset. I guess if they have low morale, sometimes they'll delay their actions. The banana floor is working nicely. Oh. I forgot to heal my character. Well, what, you, you'll take one for the team, right? Okay, we defeated that guy. Uh, let me sell game. I guess they have to wait until the shark event is over or what's the deal? I don't know, I guess we need to be able to... Oh, okay. I guess we need to be able to control the ship to set sail. I think this is the repair guy. They're still taking water. Okay, it would be so funny if you just die after you defeated the enemy. Okay, so it does work like that. Okay. Note to self, be very very careful what we do in in a battle. That's a much better ship. I guess you don't really have to get... Oh, no! It has four small slots only. Oh, that's... I, no, I noticed that this is weirdly shaped, but I guess it's supposed to be a seagull with parrots in its mouth or... I don't know, that's such a weird design. It. Okay. So Robert is the reload speed expert. Uh, what does this guy do? Frank, he <laughs> sometimes refuses to work. I saw that. What does this guy do? I think this guy is the banana expert, so he needs to have more HP. Okay, doesn't do anything, he's an ice pounder. Well, repair speed doesn't seem to be doing much, so I guess we'll just give them health. This result will be like cheating, because just giving them more HP all the time is going to definitely produce a bigger impact than just, you know, a little bit of repair speed. What is that? We need to take it, okay. Medium pirate. Put an iron ore. Now let me check that fireplace again, because if it... I might need to just put one... Well, I didn't want this, you wanted it. I don't know, I keep forgetting, wait, why is this a little bit different? This will work nicely. Eh, let's grant them mercy. <laughs> that was an achievement. Yeah, this is so hard to remember who is who and what does what, so Robert... He's the guy with the white shirt, and he's supposed to be the cannon expert. He'll be at the stun cannon. Mark? Mark just is healthy, so he'll be at the main cannon. Ernest? Ernest doesn't do anything. Where the... Uh, Okay, Ernest doesn't do anything. Okay, that is noted. Probably the guy with the banana should be further in front. So Mark is the first one in front. Okay, so probably Mark needs more health. I think 20 health is plenty, so let's give him reload speed as well. Robert, well, Robert has... <laughs> Out of reload speed. I 
guess since he's in the middle of the room over there, he doesn't get to do much, so let's give him more intelligence. Ah, I guess you should give him some repair speed. This will be horrible to remember all of this, sadly. Okay, so let's do that. Let's visit the island. Oh no, okay, it works like that. But how much? I guess it's one bar per five iron ore. Huh. Yes, that's a good. Michael Jackson, what, what are you doing here? Oh. All of the trees have regrown. Well, to be honest, I don't think we need to cut all of them down. I just think we should be a little more careful what we do. Yeah, the game is pretty good. I am enjoying it a lot. But again, the problem will be how much can you play it? And I assume the answer to this question will be about 6, 7, 8 hours tops right now. So keep that in mind in case you want to buy the game. It's kind of a short game. Not many things to do. 40,000. Yeah. I'm already swimming in money. What was that hell like cannon that we saw? Hellish cannon. A magma cannon. Okay. It does a lot of ship damage. It does not a lot of ship damage, but it does a... Wow, okay. I want the magma cannon. That will be a great upgrade for our basic cannon. Oh, come on, this is so annoying, so why can't I do this? I want to keep the healing room. Oh, wait. I don't actually have a slot for this because this is put out a big slot. Oops. Yeah, my bad. I guess we'll, just, we'll just have to keep it in reserve. I got, I got. I was too happy to use a big cannon, so I forgot about the requirements here. Yeah, so I thought it, hey, this cannon is too good and this is too easy. What's the catch? And we saw what's going to do everything else. Do we now have a prison? This is why I don't like watching. What? He doesn't like the gold bars. I was watching something on Twitch. Come on! Doesn't like. What? Is there something I'm missing with the crew? Thank you. What do you like? What do you like, my friend? What do you like? Hmm, I don't know. Also, this is not going to work. So, we'll just rename reload speed. There will be banana man. He throws bananas. Repair. This is his repair ice miner. It's a lot easier to remember them now. Oh, so they need a lot more HP, a lot more experience to level up. So as you can see, you can get very bad crew members, but it will be the same when you level them up. So you might as well just get much better crew if you can. So it's free health points per health point point. We have scouting. I don't remember that. Anyway. I don't think Technician was such a good idea, but I think it will serve us well. Other than that, I think this is kind of like the moment we have mastered the combat, more or less. Now we know how to make iron, we know how to buy iron, we know how the ship system works, we have much better crew members because we recruited them for money in the red coat town. Or was it in the blue red coat town? I don't remember which one was. It... Oh. I guess intelligence look, looks the same for everyone, they're just a bunch of googly eyes. Also, I said that I want to check his housing. Yeah, he does have a chest for you. Is it every day? It might be a chest every day. What is this? The basement? Yeah. It seems to give you a chest every day, so I guess we should check out on him very, very early. So we have to do a little bit of fishing because I didn't feed well Grim at all. 
What's this gambling over here? I want an emerald. Well, that's a very unusual way to get emeralds. I guess we just have to get super, super lucky and super, super focused on this mini game. Oh, this makes more sense why the fishing game is so hard because you can actually get very good upgrades. Okay. okay. Let's play the fishing game a little more. Oh, tap buttons A and D. I guess we caught it. Goldfish and Anarubian. Okay, I changed my mind about fishing. Fishing is super exciting in this game for whatever reason. And not only that, it's super stressful as well. Imagine you're going to lose an upgrade over this minigame. We have a roach. Let me get, try and get another roach. Okay. I want to get the roach. Hmm, I guess. Whoa, it went crazy. Okay, let's go and feed the big whale some fish. We haven't done that ever. We can also get more copper here, but apparently copper is not used for anything. We can also get more mushrooms. Oh, so you need to give him a lot of fish, isn't it? You, you cannot give him just a single fish to complete this, you need to give him a lot of fish. I'm also not sure what to do the well grim gems, because I don't see them anywhere. Maybe it will be something that will be explained later. Well, I'll not waste more time, but it's just so interesting. When I start playing this game, I want to play it for more and more. The mushrooms will heal me, so I probably want to get a few of these. I still don't know how to get that chest. So I guess if you want a quick uh, tour of the place, just come over here, get the mushrooms. Destroy that big pot over there and then go. Oh, Nibbler is also here. Let's use the mouse scroll wheel. I remember correctly, yeah, there's, there's a teleporter over there. Amazing, amazing. I guess the easiest way to save the game is just to go over here, go out, and then save. Save and sleep. Perfect. Sorry for the episodes being so long, but now I'm just trying to learn the game as much as I can and also apply what I learned. We did a lot of stuff today. Bye bye. Wait, this guy has only 5 HP. Okay, reload speed needs more health. Bye bye.